Are you a scholar? Has your social media use changed over time? As social media use by scholars continues to grow, it's becoming imperative to have a better understanding of the forces that drive changes in our social media habits. We'll tell you why. To do this, we're going to challenge you to think about two things. First, how your social media use has changed over time. And second, why studying changes in the social media use of scholars is important. Most scholars use social media in one way or another. The very act of watching this video is social media use. You may simply watch this video, or you may decide to leave a comment to engage in conversation with us. Regardless of whether you use social media in passive or active ways currently, your social media use and lack of use likely changes over time. With that in mind, think back to when you started using social media. Were you already working in a faculty position when social media use became mainstream? Or are you a younger scholar who grew up using social media? Perhaps you were a student and then became faculty. Regardless of when you started using social media, you may have changed how and what you do on social media over time. Maybe you post more often, or maybe you've shifted to posting less frequently. Maybe the content you post has changed over time, shifting from personal to more professional content, or vice versa. Maybe you now use social media for different purposes than you did before or maybe you've experienced some other event that impacted your use, like motherhood, or tenure, or retirement, or a new position. Or following scandal after scandal, you began mistrusting social media companies and changed your ways. In reality, we don't know a whole lot about how scholars' social media habits change, and we also don't know much about what influences these changes. What we do know is that social media use among scholars is complicated. As scholars face pressure to adopt social media practices, they also express concerns about the negative outcomes they might encounter with social media use. Some concerns include adding social media activity on top of already heavy workload demands, possibly putting themselves at risk for online harassment, and the perceived effect of social media activity on their productivity and ability to concentrate. Do you share any of these concerns? Studying how scholars' social media use changes over time helps us to see the big picture. Through further research in this area, we can better understand the ways that social media are interwoven with the fabric of our lives. We can also better understand scholars' concerns and develop recommendations and plans to help reduce any negative outcomes. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you liked this research short, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students.